back to cooking with your heaven. Remember, the key to cooking is tasting your food. Today, we are making biscuits, and as you can see, I've already added my flour into the bowl. It's mixed with salt, baking soda, and baking powder, and I whisk that together and preheat your oven to 450 degrees. The key to this recipe is leaving your butter in the fridge. Until you need the butter, don't take it out of the fridge. We need some cold butter for this recipe to keep the biscuits nice, flaky, and flavorful. So keep your butter in the fridge. And now I'm basically mixing the flour with the butter. You could use a fork or a pastry cutter, but I just like to go with my hands to feel the texture and to see if it's fully mixed. One way to tell if it's fully mixed is by looking at it if you can see like most of the butter pieces is mixed in with the flour that's a good indicator but also you could take the flour into your hand and if you could like basically make a fist with your hand and the flour and butter stays like that it stays like in a ball shape then it's good <laughs> Substitute the non-vegan slash vegetarian ingredients with those in this recipe. And now I'm going to talk about my mistake in this video. Um, I was supposed to add about one cup of flour in this recipe, but I messed up and used the half cup. So that's why it looks very watery. It will be fixed. As you can see, I go and add in the rest of the flour and it's completely fixed. It's completely fine. I will have the right recipe in the description box below, but that was just my little mistake for this video. And now we're going to knead the dough. Add your flour to your surface, heavily flour your surface. Don't listen when they say, oh, put a little lightly flour. Don't lightly flour it because it will stick to your surface. So add a good amount of flour on your surface to knead it and don't overwork the dough. Knead it until it's kneaded. It, right when it's not sticking anymore and it's able to be touched without sticking to your hands, that's enough. Don't go and overwork it and it becomes a hard dough. part you really could just flatten it out with your hands every time I use a rolling pin my biscuits come out flat so I like just going in with my hands and doing it but yeah I cut it and you'll see later that I did have some problems with the shape of this because I didn't go back and put down more flour it's going to stick to the thing but you could always reshape it that's the really good thing about biscuits you don't really need to go and mix it back in and do it again just shape it to how you like and you'll see that in later clips
your pan and added your biscuit dough to the pan all you need to do is add melted butter on the top of these biscuits i also added buttermilk but that's just me being extra you don't really have to do that but i really wanted some golden brown biscuits 